Welcome. Today we're going to talk about blue line streams. Uh, what is a blue line stream? Uh, basically, it's just one of the smaller streams uh, that are uh, the little blue lines on the maps. It's not the bigger waters. Um, they're often the tributaries to the bigger waters. Um, basically, they're the smaller streams that don't get into books and generally don't get a lot of press. Um, a lot of them are brook trout streams, but they'll also hold rainbows and browns. Um, why would you want to fish one of these streams? Well, the reason is it provides a different experience than a lot of other fishing. Um, sense of exploration, um, solitude, um, and just a beautiful day on a nice piece of water. Um, the experience is um, part of this kind of fishing because you're not going to get many trophy pictures. Um, but you're just going to have a beautiful day and probably see a lot of other wildlife while you're at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at different resources for finding those streams. Um, one of the resources right away is great Delorme maps uh, and other sports types maps. And these maps are going to not only get you there and back, um, but they'll help you locate some of the streams. So we'll take a look inside uh, those. Um, Maps like the uh, Appalachian Trail maps, um, the ones for Shenandoah Park are excellent, but we kind of know a lot of those streams already. So we'll take a look at some other areas. Um, Pennsylvania um, has these amazing maps of all six fishing districts and a lot of good information and detail. Probably never seen them before, but guess what? They're at all the rest stops. <laughs> These are not secrets. You just have to go in and look for them. Um, another interesting uh, resource I found, uh, right here I've got three different books on waterfalls in the eastern United States. Um, yeah, waterfalls have water, and they're often on smaller streams. So those have been uh, excellent resources for both photographing the waterfalls and finding some trout fishing. Last but not least, the most amazing thing out there right now are the interactive map systems. Um, Virginia, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland, um, we'll be looking at those sites and what you can do with them, uh, which is one of my favorite things is actually you're able to make your own custom maps. Really cool stuff. So we'll be looking at each one of those and we're also gonna do a follow-up video with Iggy and his brother Lucas on fishing some blue line streams so stay tuned for that this is the Massanutten Mountain North Half Appalachian Trail map and this is going to give us a view of the mountain ranges that make up Fort Valley where Passage Creek flows through a lot of blue line opportunity it's a great map to have because you also have Shenandoah River North and South Fork on the left and right of this map this is only showing the top fourth of the map, so there's a lot of other things you can see on it. It's definitely a map to get for blue lining. This is the Pennsylvania Fishing and Boating Opportunities uh, Regional Guides, the North Central and the South Central, I believe, are the ones that will do us the most use, easiest for us to get to. The uh, North Central is going to have a lot of opportunities um, as you're going to see when we open these up. Um, the South Central is easiest for us to get to, but the North Central is more mountainous and roadless and largest public land. So as you see the green areas, those are the state, forest, state, uh, wildlife, management areas, state game lens areas. Uh, this is basically public property. If it's in green, it's most likely public property. And that's what we're looking for. So the lines in green are the wild and the class A trout streams. The ones in orange are the stocked and the purple are the special regulations. This is the north central area uh, Potter and Clinton counties are right in the middle of the uh, green forested areas. And as you see, we'll get a little closer shot 
Um, there's a lot of opportunities. You also notice that this area is also pretty much highwayless, except for the highway to the south. Now, as you see, a little bit more of a close-up. Um, just a lot of waters, a lot of opportunities. Um, we're going to take a closer look to the area of the Potter and Clinton County border area. Um, there is a pretty famous creek up there, Kettle, um, but we're also going to find a lot of other smaller uh, systems that we're going to be able to have a lot of fun uh, chasing blue line fish. The lorms, not to be left out because the lorms are great because they will not only get you there, but they'll get you back as far as the road maps go. They'll also show you a good bit of blue line opportunity. We're going to take a look at the Virginia map right now. I also suggest getting all of them uh, for the East Coast. But basically, this is an area that is just below the Shenandoah National Park in the uh, the northern Blue Ridge area where the Shenandoah Skyline Drive turns into the Blue Ridge. A lot of opportunities in this area for blue line streams, a lot of great hiking, wildlife viewing. It's really just a very beautiful area. We're also going to take a look at this and the interactive map so we can get good close-ups. We're going to start our interactive maps by going to Virginia Department Game and Inland Fisheries and we're going to start by clicking on the fishing up in the top left corner and in the fishing section there's a lot of great info you're going to want to come back here and check this out uh, not just what we're going to uh, but we're going to go to where to fish and then we're going to go scroll down to the where to trout fish now what we're going to be going into is the interactive map system right now you can see the legend to the right you can see all the uh, fishing opportunities um, and look at how it goes up and down the Blue Ridge and the Appalachian chain and uh, that's because trout like gradation and uh, cold water so after checking out the uh, legend on the right what we're going to do is concentrate on the streams that will do us the most good which will be the wild trout streams and what we're going to do is take everything else off the layer system so by applying the different layers over the map we can find and concentrate on just what we want now we're going to leave the wild trout and the VDGIF regions so you can still see the outline of the state particular on that western border now Shenandoah Park is well known but let's look at some of the uh, other fishing areas a little farther south. Uh, in particular, we're going to go over an area uh, just south of Shenandoah Park, even though we've got great fishing up and down the ridge. Uh, we're going to look at an area just south of Shenandoah Park uh, in the northern Blue Ridge area. We're going to zoom in on that. And if you take a quick look, there's more concentration of streams in that area than the Shenandoah Park system. So that means there's a lot more fishing. Now we're also going to be making some uh, selected maps so we can pay more attention to this area in the future. So here's how you go about making the map system. You select the area that you want to make the map of in general over there and hit the printer icon on the top right adjust the map as you wish get it centered up
Lots of great streams in that area. Look how dense it is with the blue lines. Hit the printer icon. Put whatever name you want. You get to name your map. Helps you keep track of where you're at on the, uh, the map as you accumulate them. And then you want to hit the printer icon below and that will be your map generator. Now that's going to be a PDF file that you can both save to reprint later and you can print yourself one right now. There you go. You have your own personal map. Now, we're also going to show you how you can zoom in even more than what we have already. After we get this map printed out. And then we're going to zoom in on a area that looks interesting so let's just take a area that looks like it's got a good concentration of streams there you go Thai River system is right there and yep we've got brook trout let's zoom in on that a little bit so you have both a north and a south Thai River system looks like a lot of good water Now, you can get different bits of information on the different streams. Let's get a little tighter. There we go. Now you've got road for access. You've got all those streams coming off off the side. That's a south fork. We know we've got brook trout in it. Just told us so. Now I'm also looking at the feeders and Meadow Creek. Yep, we've got brook trout there. Oh, let me take a quick look. Ah, here we go. Let's slide up a little bit. Now, here's are two interesting uh, tributaries. One of them on the left is extremely steep. You see how the uh, elevation marks are so tight together? That one's going to be a bit of a hike. One on the right, got a little bit of a hike, but then it's more flat as you go up into the sections. The one on the left, oof. That's going to be a hike. And it flattens out once you get up, up above that ridge. And that ridge is going to provide a lot of plunge pools. Um, but you better be ready to take a hike. That one's going to be a little toughy to get up. But again, it should provide a lot of plunge pools. Next, we're going to be looking at what the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission has to offer. And it's a lot of great information. I always enjoy going to their website. They change it fairly often. 
and uh, pick up some biologist reports, something like that. Um, so what we're going to do with the uh, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat, we're going to go over to the fish and then we're going to click that and scroll down to trout. There you go. Now we're going to scroll down through that. What we're looking for is the interactive maps. There we go. And we want to just notice how much information they've got here now. But the interactive maps are what we're here for. So we're going to click the trout streams because that's what we're after. Click through to be OK. Now you have two things up on your left and right. The, uh, the one on your right uh, is your trout definitions uh, where you have your different uh, designations of uh, the limestone which are select stock trout, bigger generally fish. And then you have your special rags, Class A. Class A is one we're going to really concentrate on um, because that's high quality fishing, good fishing experience, high quality fish. And then we're also going to be looking at the uh, wilderness and even a little bit of the natural reproduction. But primarily we're looking at Class A and wilderness, so we'll click out of that. Now on the left column you'll see that it's about the different types of parklands. So we're going to leave all those highlighted. That will show us the green areas that we're looking for as public lands. Now public lands means stream access. So we're going to keep all those highlighted. Now we're also going to highlight the Class A trout streams. And those are going to be showing up in green. And then we're also going to highlight the wilderness trout streams. Those are in that purplish color. Now, we'll highlight the natural reproduction just for fun to show you how much trout fishing is really around. But right now we're going to concentrate on the, the, um, the wilderness and the Class A. Those are going to give us those kind of uh, uh, experiences we're looking for right now. Natural reproduction can be on a lot of private land and we want to see where we can access with no problems. So that's going to be the purple and the green lines. So what we're going to do now is we're going to collapse that layer system. We've already got our streams picked out and we're going to concentrate on looking at how much water we have and where it's at and again I really like that central north central area a lot of public land a lot of streams so we're going to focus in a little bit more on that that nice peak area and uh, make us a couple of maps now there are some famous streams up here like uh, Kettle primarily. We're going to go near Kettle but we're going to swing a little wide of it hoping that more folks will go to the more popular streams and we can find us a couple that are a little less frequented. Let's see here. Let's zoom in on uh, that Southern Potter County and Northern Clinton County is pretty much where we're looking at. But we've got a lot of land below us also. It's going to be a little easier to get to, but um, you got to be more cautious about where you go. I just want you to see how much opportunity is up here. All right, let's slide back up a little bit. That looks good right there. Lots of public access. So we're going to go back to this area we were talking about. 
and I'm not saying this is where you should go this is just me showing you the operations of this system and uh, things to look for public land let's make a map so what we're going to do is we're going to let that open up there we go now we can choose to rename it name it whatever you want And like the previous system, once we get done naming it, we're going to go to the printer icon below, and that will create the map. There you go. Let that generate the map. So this will be our area map. We'll do some more to find ones. There you go, that looks great. Go ahead and knock out a print of that. awesome so I'll be putting that in my briefcase with my other Pennsylvania maps and books and uh, if I'm up in that area that might prove to be helpful if you're talking to other fishing folks stream biologists and uh, some of the people that do the reports for the state you can pull these out and ask questions mark them up even I might even tell you about a little something that uh, might want to be in your favorite stream one day Okay, so let's uh, zoom in on that area. I'm going to slide that down a little bit. Now, these streams, You're going to have some census information on them. So what we're going to do, position it where I want it to look at them all. And that one right there, nice class A stream, 100% uh, public land. Love it. Nobody can say no. All right. So what else we want to look at? Yeah. Take a look at that one. Hmm. Seventy-four percent public land. Just have to watch out for some signage there. Still, lots of water to be able to fish. Let's take a look at a couple of others. see here oh that looks good so we have a, a wilderness area we have a couple of class A's and we are in Susquehannock State Forest public land gotta love it 100 percent Nobody can say no. Plenty of legs. Awesome. This looks like great, great habitat. 100% on that one also. 
Hmm. Makes me want to go fishing. And we got one missing. Yeah, another hundred percent. Okay, so this is definitely an area worth exploring. We want to map that up, don't we? Figure what we're going to call this one. You can zoom, zoom in even further, uh, but at some point it really doesn't add any benefit um, going in so close. It only shows you so much detail. You do want to start observing the contour lines. That shows you what kind of hike it's going to be, what kind of you know depth of ravine you might be in. Um, you can look at the uh, sun direction at that point. That's where these maps are super valuable is to be able to understand what environment you're heading into before you head into it. Some more rugged hikes are going to take a little bit more water and food possibly. Uh, maybe even a hiking friend. Um, some of them that aren't too big of a hike, I might go in alone. Um, but it's always good to have a friend in case something happens. But not a crowd. So we have our, our map has been rendered. Slide down, click on it. Yeah, that looks dynamite. Knock that out. And again, you can take these maps to talks uh, where speakers are with fisheries biologists and things like that and get even more detailed information um, and with information like this and you see how many streams are available wow look how many streams are available in that that area so just for fun let's click on some other layers Hit that natural reproduction and you will be amazed at what you see. Look at that. And that's a lifetime's worth of streams to try to fish. And that's why a lot of gentlemen retire up there because it gives you a lot of water to fish and uh, Pennsylvania is a great state for fishermen, fly fishermen, trout fishermen. Just uh, pick one and go have an adventure. <laughs>